Good day, everybody. My name is Casey Lee. I'm an honors student at the University of the Western Cape. Today, I will be presenting on my honors project, The Assembly of the Mitochondrial Genome of Rooibos, Espelatus Linearis. Mitochondria are organelles that synthesize and supply energy in the form of ATP to eukaryotic cells. They come in many shapes. Circular, linear, branched, and even Rosetta structures have been reported. They may carry genes involved in diverse stress response mechanisms, such as mitophagy, retrograde signaling, and mitochondrial biogenesis induction. Their genomes are transferred only through the maternal lineage and can provide us with information on the evolutionary history of a species. Knowledge on the mitochondrial genome sequence may also shed light on the involvement in stress response regulation, horizontal gene transfer events between nuclear and organelle genomes, and on the diverse mitochondrial genome replication mechanisms. Rooibos is an economically important medicinal plant only found in South Africa, and it is widely known as a herbal tea. The medicinal plant genomics team at the University of the Western Cape has sequenced the nuclear genome of rooibos. The DNA sample also included mitochondrial and chloroplast DNA providing an opportunity to study their genomes. Plants have the largest mitochondrial genomes of all living organisms, and the assembly of it is not a straightforward task due to large repeat regions. In legumes, mitochondrial genome sizes ranging from 271.6 kilobases in Medicago truncatula to 729.5 kilobases in Leukemia trichandra have been reported. My study aims to assemble the mitochondrial genome sequence of rooibos, and the objectives of this project are to investigate the suitability of GET organelle for the assembly of the mitochondrial genome of plants and to generate a first assembly of the mitochondrial genome of rooibos. Plant material of rooibos was collected and extracted using the CTAB method. Total genomic DNA of rooibos was sequenced on the HiSeq 2000 and the MySeq Illumina sequencing systems. For my honors project, I pre-processed one HiSeq and one MySeq dataset using filter by towel and trimomatic to remove low quality reads. FOSQC was used to visualize the results before and after pre-processing. The mitochondrial genome was assembled using Get Organelle. And finally, bandage was used to visualize the assembly graph outputted from Get Organelle. All computational analyses were completed at CHPC. The read pre-processing results of the HiSeq 2000 dataset are shown on the left, and the results of the MySeq dataset are shown on the right. The average quality of both datasets significantly improved after read pre-processing using Trimomatic and Filter by Tal. For example, Red tiles showing low quality reads in the graphs at the bottom of the HiSeq 2000 dataset was significantly reduced after read preprocessing. These are the assembly statistics for the HiSeq and MySeq datasets before and after read preprocessing. My results indicate that the unprocessed read files yielded better assemblies than the preprocessed read files. So, for the unprocessed read datasets, the number of contexts was less than 200 and the total assembled length ranged between 447 kilobases and 519 kilobases, which is within the range of mitochondrial genome sizes of leguminous plants. The processed read datasets yielded thousands of contexts, and the total assembly length was gigantic. It was 3.3 to 4.8 megabases. In other words, these datasets did not appear to have assembled. It is possible that reads representing repeats may have been filtered out by the quality filtering step, hampering reassembly of the mitochondrial genome. It is not easy to assemble plant mitochondrial genomes due to their large repeat regions. This study found that read preprocessing may hamper mitochondrial genome assembly. The best assembly of the mitochondrial genome of Rooibos was generated using the HiSeq dataset, as shown in the image on the left. It appears to have a multipartite Rosetta genome structure. Future work. The assembled mitochondrial genome of rooibos using Illumina short read sequences can be verified using long read minion data using Minimap2. 
Furthermore, the assembled mitochondrial genome can be annotated using G-Seq or MitoFi. This work provides opportunities and encourages the sequencing and assembly of more plant mitochondrial genomes. I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to my supervisor, Dr. Uyana Hess, and a PhD student in our group, Yam Kerem Gwachu, for their guidance throughout this project. I would also like to say a special thank you to my funder, Su Chen Li, as well as the Department of Biotechnology at UWC and CHPC for allowing me to use their platform. Thank you.